everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna tackle another challenge. And this one is gonna be a shell challenge. And this shell challenge is by no other than Kate Emerald. So this is my first shell challenge on this channel. So um, wish me luck. Let's look at this shell. So this is a shell. Kate Emerald is very good at making very tricky and very... Well, she's very good at like including some mean little things in there, you know? I mean, you probably know Kate Emerald in case you don't. She's a Sims 4 builder as well. She creates like these incredible builds. I'll definitely have her channel linked below. Okay, so the, ch so the thing about this challenge is I can only use one of these colors and only that. For the whole thing, I'm only allowed to use one color. That's gonna be a challenge. About child challenges in general, there's like a couple of rules. I can't like delete any of the existing walls. Basically, I just can't change anything that's already there. I can, however, like I can add fences. I can add platforms. I can add walls. And also this child is supposed to be spooky. So let's see what we can do. I was thinking I would go with purple. It's just speaking to me, you know. I'm just gonna filter by purple, obviously. She said, obviously there are a couple of things, they just aren't available in these colors. We're allowed to make like certain exceptions. Okay, so, um, wallpaper. Let's just see what we got. This is supposed to be purple? Are you kidding? Where's this purple? Okay, I kind of want to go for a very dark, kind of something like this. Maybe we could go for this one. Purple floor. Well, how is this purple? What? Ooh, we have this floor. Okay, so what if I... Hold on. So this is like the obvious purple floor, right? So let's just use this one. And maybe, what if I use this one here? Maybe. Okay, so here's the first thing. There's no purple trim. You know what? I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. I want to go with black. So I did incorporate a little bit of black. Okay, so I did play around with the platforms a little bit. I got a bit carried away and created this little weird situation. I did just decide to use a bit of terrain. I want to try and hide this little situation here. You know, I might just keep that like all around the build. Okay, so I just smoothed this out a little bit. I think I'm gonna start looking for windows doors because that might make a big change okay so those are our door options um not gonna lie like i don't like either of them <laughs> maybe if we go with this one from the vintage glamour pack okay for windows i am drawn to these windows i'm just gonna try both of them and then i'm gonna see like which ones I like better. No, I actually scratch that. I'm just gonna go with the Realm of Magic one. I think I'm just gonna stick with the Realm of Magic windows and just um, use them all around the build. Okay, so this is not easy because there's a lot of platforms inside which make like the placement of the windows a lot harder. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, I just found something out. So I had this door here and this door is just much too big. But what happens if I size it down? That should work, right? I mean, we do have these gaps here. I can always like go in and add some sort of wall decor or whatever. So I think we can make that work. Oh, and I did this little like detail here, which I really like. You know, I use these Realm of Magic windows, the angled ones and I place them in this corner here and that makes kind of like this little corner window situation. I love that a lot. Like I've never done that before in any build and um, I think that's absolutely adorable. Oh, and do you know what time it is? It's time to subscribe. Okay, I do want to add a chimney. I'm pretty sure we don't have a purple chimney. I'm gonna check anyway. Okay, so I did just do a bunch of landscaping and like a bunch of other stuff. I got a bit carried away to be honest. Um, so yeah, so firstly, I added these columns from City Living. They are the only purple ones we have. They kind of didn't really go with the vibe that I was going for, but actually I really like how this looks now. I decided to use a bunch of debug items from Realm of Magic. For example, these crystals, I used a bunch of those all around the perimeter, like everywhere. And also like obviously I included this pond here. I tried to kind of make this look a bit swampy. This is obviously going to be like a pretty witchy house. I was kind of feeling it to be a bit swampy. I did use these mushrooms that are also from Realm of Magic. I used these Strangerville plants, whatever they are. <laughs> I did use these debug plants from high school years as well. And also I used these glowing things 
They also come with Realm of Magic and you can also find them in Debug. They glow so beautifully at night, like when you size them up, it just looks so lovely. I just love it. Okay, and here I just added, um, I think this is a table. I kind of wanted to make like a little flower arrangement here. So I just added this table and then included a bunch of these plants that I also use like around the house. And I did kind of like the same thing here. I used this um, bar tree that came with um the perfect patio pack i think i might want to use fencing around here like around this um entrance area maybe maybe like that i think that looks a bit more like um put together in a way you know i think i'm gonna leave it here for now i will probably go in and add more landscaping here because i don't like the edge of this kind of thing but we will do that later on let's go to the inside for now okay so this is gonna be a because <laughs> it's very small already i can tell i need to change the window slightly because we have platforms in here okay so i'm just gonna leave this window as is and maybe just add like some sort of sofa in front so you can't really see that it's actually a bit big so we do have to figure out where to put the stairs and we don't really have any purple stairs so i am gonna go with black okay this is not easy okay so i'm gonna put the stairs here that's kind of perfect for the upstairs area for the downstairs not so much but still i'm just gonna get rid of this okay let's look for some flooring i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to use probably we're gonna use this one i also like this one i think we might go with that okay let's look for some wallpaper and i'm definitely thinking vampires here so i might want to go in and add like this bold kind of wallpaper which i already do really like this okay i think because there's already a pattern in the floor i just want to keep the wallpaper a bit more muted i mean there is a pattern but you know you can only see it it's kind of like this shiny i mean this looks really cool right i love these kinds of wallpapers that we have but it's not quite as obvious as like this one you know so i'm gonna go with that one and i actually really like it i do want to add some um uh what's that called uh like the railing for the stairs i want to go with black obviously yeah, i think i want to use this one i love the pattern it has like these stars on there it's very cute okay so this is the entrance area i think we might want to do like the kitchen we're gonna put it just right here in the entrance we want to have like i think some sort of living area here maybe and then upstairs i'd say this is gonna be like the bedroom and kind of office area so yeah let's see what we can do okay so kitchen god i'm already like scared about the colors purple okay yeah that's what i thought oh god i hate them all mm. you know what i think i'm gonna go with this one actually because yeah because it kind of matches the floor even though the color isn't what i would want it to be still i think we're gonna use this i'm gonna just place this here i i need a fridge okay let's just start with a fridge well we have these lavender kind of fridges you know so let's just go with the lavender i mean what am i gonna do and i do want to have a stove of course and i think i'm gonna go with this one probably oh god this is the purple bin that we have okay i do want to try and add up her cabinets which yeah we can just go with these ones like the matching ones from um oh it's a country kitchen kit of course yeah oh this is so cruel because we have platforms up here even though it's a medium wall height you know there's so little space here okay so this is where we're at with the kitchen um i mean it's very small but still i kind of like it and we can actually use a table on this side i'm just gonna go with this one from um paranormal i think okay just changed the window situation a little bit so i can just move the table back so i do like that a lot actually i think that's pretty cute okay i do want to find some clutter obviously i don't think i've ever looked for purple clutter ever before hmm. okay there's like not that much clutter when it comes to purple okay so here's where we're at with the clutter um i do like it it's not that much um i did use the pot here i placed that on the stove and I'm pretty sure you can still use it. And I did find this urn. I think that's from Vampires. I sized it up quite a bunch. And I thought I might be able to use this as some sort of vase. Okay, so I did add this uh, rock from uh, Realm of Magic. 
And I did end up using this urn and placing this um, plant inside that came with, uh, well, it's just a base game plant. <laughs> I mean, you can't really look too closely because it does look a little bit weird. And now I do have to do something in this area here. I mean, maybe I could just add this shelf kind of as like a decoration. Yeah, and I'm just gonna place this right here so there's no gaps left. So for this area, I do think I wanna add these. Um, they came with high school years and I've never used them before, but they are, I mean, they're just adorable. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with this one from Vampires. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. And then maybe I might even add a chair. I think there's enough space for us to add another chair. We could use the same one. No, that's a bit much. Maybe just this one one from get together I think that's pretty cute and then I do want to add a plant in the corner there so it doesn't seem quite as empty okay just size this one up from the vintage glamour pack and then I think I do want to add like a couple of um uh tables in this sort of area so this could kind of be our living room kind of thing maybe this one this is again kind of more like a lavender color and maybe add two like next to each other and maybe we could even bring one of them around like this and then i'm gonna add a tv do you even have a purple tv we have this penguin i don't know that's too much no no i do want to add this one i think that's okay i'm just again like gonna try to find some purple clutter I do also have this uh, this peacock. Oh, it's the decor to the max pack. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I do want to move this around a little bit and I do want to add, I think, a plant. Maybe this one from base game. Move these books around just a little bit. Okay, and I do think I want to add a rug. Maybe that could kind of work. And I think I want to add like some sort of plant here because this kind of looks a bit weird, right? Like the... the um, uh the table <laughs> and then here in this corner okay we just put the peacock in this corner such a handsome guy honestly i think that's pretty cool maybe we can even make him a little bit bigger so it's just like really a big statement i kind of love that <laughs> and then i want to add some paintings this one kind of works i do really like it somehow yeah, i think that works can i add a painting here i mean maybe they're into music right yeah sure i mean why not witches can be into music and maybe we can place the bug lamps right next to it yeah that's pretty cute maybe we can add just another chair in this kind of corner maybe let's go with this chair because we did use the table from the paranormal stuff pack and then maybe another plant just right next to it you know maybe i'm just gonna use this and just use a table, like a small one. Oh, this is hard. You know what? I'm gonna swap these. Yes, I like that. Okay, so I think that's the downstairs area done. I think it doesn't need anything else. I am thinking to use curtains. I don't know, the windows are just so beautiful, you know? You don't really want to cover them up, right? Maybe I can just size them up a little bit. Maybe like that. I mean, that could be kind of cute right okay i really like that it actually adds in that extra bit of decor kind of i really like this downstairs area to be honest okay so let's go to the upstairs by the way i didn't even like add anything like i didn't add any rooms i didn't add any walls or balconies or whatever which i thought i would but um i don't know like for some reason i think it's fine i think we're gonna make this work okay so for upstairs i'm thinking maybe i want to do this like exactly the other way around so we're gonna use this bold kind of of, um uh carpet <laughs> and then maybe just a lavender kind of wallpaper like this one maybe or this one i think that's pretty good what? i forgot the bathroom oh my god oh no and then we do have this also but i don't really want to put the bathroom here because you don't really want to go outside to use your bathroom okay so maybe we can kind of use this little corner yeah i think that's gonna be fine but i do want to add a different flooring in there i mean this kind of goes as purple by the game so I think I'm just gonna use that. I think I wanna go really bold purple inside here though. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, for the upstairs, we do wanna add a bed, of course. Um, This is definitely gonna be like a single bed kind of situation. I think I maybe wanna go with this base game one because, um, yeah, it just works. For the side table, I think 
I might use this one again just because it works with the wallpaper. Oh wait, I think I want to use this one from Decor to the Max. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we do want to add some lighting. Oh, maybe we could go with this from, from the movie hangout pack. Oh yeah, I like that because we have like the crystal kind of situation there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do think I want to repeat the curtain situation from downstairs. That just looks wonderful here. It just works great. And I think that's that should be pretty much it for the bed kind of area i do want to add a desk here i think i want to go with this one from high school years maybe this one i mean i don't love that we place it like right in front of the windows but yeah i mean this one just works fine with the um with the details and all, you know? For the laptop computer thing, I think I want to go with the typewriter. This is pink, but I mean you know it's a little bit purple you know okay we need a chair oh, i think i want to use this one from paranormal because it works quite well with the curtains i just love that chair okay again we want to have a lamp Ooh, yeah this one from vampires is just perfect and now we do need a little bit of clutter we could use some tissues tissues are always good to have maybe a couple of books couple makeup essentials oh you know what i think I'm gonna go in and look for a couple of things from Debug from Realm of Magic. Yeah, because we do have these potions and all that stuff. Yeah, that's just perfect. And I'm gonna take care of the clutter in a second. Okay, we do need a dresser still. I just want to make sure that I kind of have everything included that we need for a bedroom. Yeah, we could use these trunks that came with werewolves. They just look very cute in this kind of environment, you know? They just work very well. Okay, again, we want to add some curtains. <sighs> I just hate how the camera just moves up and down. So annoying. Okay, so I think now I'm just gonna like take care of the whole clutter, put down like a couple of paintings and a bit of decor, and then I'm gonna show you where we're at. Okay, so I did just finish the interior. So I just added a bunch of paintings. I added a lot of clutter on the desk here. Whoops, I need to pull this out a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, I use a lot of these Realm of Magic items, which conveniently come in a couple of purple swatches, purple or kind of reddish. And then I thought, you know, it makes sense to kind of have this um, music theme up here as well. And here I added these um, curtains from the Paranormal Stuff Pack and also these ones from the... The plant kit, I forget what the name is, but I thought that was kind of like a nice touch. And I added these lamps. Unfortunately, they disappear whenever I zoom in, but they came with a movie hangout pack and I just changed the color to um, violet. So um, yeah, it kind of looks a little bit like cozy and um, moody in here. And then for the bathroom, I just added a shower and a sink and a mirror and a toilet, like everything you would need for a bathroom. And I used everything in Realm of Magic because that's the only kind of purplish swatch that we have. And then over here, I wanted to add this library kind of situation. I did do this off camera because it just took four ever to clutter this up. I just used these cabinets um, or whatever they are, like these shelving units that came with the high school pack. I just cluttered them up like crazy, you know? I used everything that kind of looks just remotely purple. Um, I used this little um, cauldron that came with the spooky stuff pack. I used this barrel down here that also has kind of like a purple kind of swatch. Again, a couple of these crystal balls that came with the paranormal, uh, that came with Realm of Magic, and these potions and books and that thing and crystals and you name it. And I did place this fireplace in the center here. I just wanted to include a fireplace and I actually placed this uh, tombstone that also came with Realm of Magic on top and used one of these purple lights just to make it kind of glow. It's not really like realistic, but I'm thinking this is a witchy kind of household. Uh, so not everything has to be really realistic. And then I added this uh, base game couch here and also this broom that is from the debug menu from Realm of Magic again. And yeah, that's kind of it. Like that's everything I did. So this is kind of what we're looking at at the moment. Um, I am gonna add a little more lighting so that it just glows a little more at night. And I do think I wanna add more of these crystals just to cover up these edges a little bit. So I am gonna do that now. So again, I'm just gonna um, filter by Realm of Magic. And then I think I wanna add one of these crystals right here. Maybe 
maybe size it down just a little bit and maybe add another one right here and then I will use tool and just lower them a little bit yeah maybe like that okay so I'm almost done I did decide to go in and add a bunch of ivy because I kind of feel like this needs to look a little more grown in yeah so I'm just using the cottage living ivy and also the one um, from jungle adventure okay so we're almost done here the last thing I'm gonna do is just add lighting okay I'm gonna add terrain paint as well then we're done and I might change the color of the outdoor lighting but I will see okay so I'm done you know this did take me a minute not gonna lie it was a bunch of work <laughs> so um, I did actually place a couple of these bug lamps um, just on top of the window so that it kind of looks like they're just a bug sitting on top of the window which I think is pretty cute and this is what it looks like at night which I just love and I did not change the color of the lights or maybe I'm gonna try that yeah it does look pretty cool honestly okay I do like that I did switch up the lighting in some of the lights to purple which I do like a lot and yeah this is kind of it like this is what it turned out to be I'm not like a hundred percent sure about this whole like platform situation but I don't know I think I'm just gonna to leave it as it is okay so I did go in and add um, some seating and I did actually use these chairs that came with a um, wedding pack I kind of like them because they have this kind of crystal -y look to them and I did add the spooky stuff table which I also love and I also added the cauldron that came with realm of magic in this purplish kind of swatch that's it I'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> I think it turned out pretty cool so um, yeah let's wrap this up okay guys so this was my take on Kate Emerald's spooky or Halloween shell challenge. I'm actually pretty pooped. Like I'm sweating. It took me hours to finish this. I did have a lot of fun though. It's really like it's a major challenge to decorate something with just one color but it's kind of fun to step out of your comfort zone every once in a while i do hope you like what i came up with um obviously the build will be up on the gallery my id is missy motion yeah that's it for this challenge i very much hope that you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye